Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, as exciting it is for me and the coaches, the kids just absolutely loved it, especially seeing Connor and Jack, both kind of local lads and have kind of come through the grades. Just to, to have someone like that come down and have that kind of something to kind of uh, aspire to and that could be me one day is absolutely fantastic. You can see the kind of the, the impact on it and, and although it's great for Wollstone, it's even better for Rugby League, Warrington and Rugby League as a whole to have people and to have these idols and have people wanting to be Connor Wrench, wanting to be Jack Dabsha, wanting to be Thomas McHale, rather than wearing football shirts with Messi and Ronaldo and whoever else. And it's much better to have him idolising the rugby players than it is the football players. I've had a few coaches while I've been here, to be fair, but I'd probably say Alan Harrison, Darren Greitas, they coach me the most, and I think it happens at all junior levels, but coaches, you know, working all day and then coming coach for us over night time and, and then giving up the weekends, it's just forever grateful for it, really, because without that, you've, you've got no club, so good thanks for them. It's a buzz for the kids, and then they stay around, they sign shirts, and it's just, it gives them something to look forward to, and to, and to see a different way, to see how they train, because they bring some of their training um, tactics and some of their um, training drills and bring our kids into it, and it's, it's just a different way of training, a different voice to listen to, but it's something they look up to doing it as well, so it's all the better for it. We've got a good bunch of lads, in general anyway, and you know we had teams for under nines, and 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s tonight, uh, who all love playing rugby league and they love what they do. And when you throw the Warrington lads into the mix as well, it just pushes the excitement up, to, to use a cliche, it notches it up to 11 um, in terms of how excited they are, because it just adds just a little extra to it. From being that young, just teaching me how to pass and catch, tackle technique, all the things you do when you're younger, to when I started playing scholarship alongside, um, you know, just be able to come back somewhere and have some games every weekend, practice what I've learned with coaches like Gary Chambers, who was a big impact when I went to Warrington. So, you know, they've been massive for my development. Good hands, good hands, nice good pass. Good, 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 good. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Covid was was tough for for everyone, especially kind of kind of some of the rugby league communities, especially. You know, in some places where rugby league is played in some of the most deprived communities, to have that opportunity to kind of come back in, we've seen it all across the town in the community of rugby league, but especially especially at Wilson, our numbers are thriving. We've got our our cubs, kind of which are, which aren't playing games yet. When they eventually graduate to playing games, we should be able to put three teams without. We've got that many kind of kids getting involved now, so it's 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 thriving certainly at Wilson and the other community clubs in Warrington.